Welcome back everybody, this is Nabi and this time we're going to install an SAP NetWeaver ABAP 7.51 SP2 Trial Edition into Docker on localhost. So please make sure you have installed both Docker and Git before we continue. And let me also start Docker right here. So while it's starting, let me show you right now how my configuration looks like. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM right here and I have a two terabytes flash storage. So that's what I have. And I have prepared a GitHub repository right here. And this is the one you can access and follow each step that I'm going to show you right now. So what we're going to do is we want to install, uh, to clone this repository right here. So I'm just going to copy these two lines, hit return, and that's it. Here we are. This is what we have. Docker has started. Now, this is very important and you have to do this as well. I'm going now to my Docker preferences. And there's an advanced section right here. And in here, you have to make sure that you um, increase your, where is it? Sorry, it's a disk section, that you in increase your disk image size. So whatever was in here, just make sure you increase it by 100 gigabytes. If you don't do this, then you're going to have issues when installing the SAP uh, ABAP server into Docker. And additionally, you could think about increasing your memory right here. I have chosen six gigabytes right here. So do that before you continue. You can do this on both Windows 10 and, um, and on Mac, and that works just fine. Okay, so, what do we do next? Well, first of all, we need to get the we need to get the uh, installation files from somewhere, and for this, you can follow either this link here, which would open right here, and the other one goes directly to the link that we're going to click right now, which is this one. And in here, you have when you click it, you have to authenticate with your user, and this is what we're going to download. So you just press. Uh, trial edition and then you're going to have uh, a form and you need to enter your details and after this you're going to receive an email with a link and if you click the link you can finally download the 10 archives. So these are RAR files, uh, 10 of them, all together are about uh, 15 gigabytes so you have to download all, all of them and uh, I'm going to close this and this and I'm going now to my download folder. So I have done that already, so it can take some time. And after that, you need to extract uh, the archives, and this you can achieve by extracting the first one, and then everything else works automatically. For me, this is the result. And inside the client folder also, you find the GUI, the sub-GUIs. For example, in my case, I do not have Windows, so I can't use this exit, but what I have is the Java uh, GUI right here. And to open that, I press on my Mac control, click, open, and then I can follow the installation steps right here. I'm not going to do this because I have already installed the sub GUI. Actually, I have even the 7.5, but uh, this doesn't really matter in our case. What's more important is that we need to take all these files. So I'm just selecting them saying copy all the six items right here. Then I'm going back to my bash. This is where I find, uh, this is what I cloned. I say open here on my Mac to open the finder. And right here, this is exactly where I'm going to create a new folder called SAP downloads. I go in here and paste everything that I just copied right here. So this is what I have to do. And after this, I can close that. And this is also described here in this um, uh, in, in, in step five right here. And what we want to do now is we want to build a Docker image based on the Docker file right here. So I have to copy that again. I'm going to paste it in here, hit return. And what's going to happen now is everything I've uh, everything that can be found in here is going to be transferred to the Docker daemon, and then the image is being created as described with the Docker file. 
Let's see how long that takes. And uh, well, it might take great. A few so we're done. I think that took about uh, five to six minutes. Um, okay. So that means that the Docker image has been created. Voila! Here it is. It's called nwabub. I gave it a tag seven point five one because this is the version of the ABAP server we will install uh, into the container in the next step. And it's actually quite large, but it, this is not the final size. Okay, here we go. And let's just see what we actually have. There is no container running at this moment. And I have only one other container. container. If you follow my other tutorial, then you know where this one comes from. This is the cloud connector. While the installation has not yet, yeah. While the installation has not yet finished, let me show you again what we have downloaded and extracted. Because in here there's a readme.html file, and if you open that file, you'll find some additional information to what you're actually installing right here. It contains some information about, for example, the users and the, the users that are installed, some requirements. It tells you what operating systems you could use, for example, um, and what uh, hardware resources you need. It's going to tell you something about the host name, and this is the default host name, actually, which is strongly recommended to use. Um, and there are also a few words about um, where is what installed and so on right here. And uh, well, feel free to have a look at this. Okay, so congratulations. This looks really good. It says installation was successful. And what we're going to do next, although the SAP system is running, I want to show you how you can stop and start the system. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just typing um, stop SAP all. And this won't work because I need to change to a different user, which is um, the following one, NPL ADM. And for that user, I can now call stop SAP. The all is actually not needed here. Now if I do this, the SAP system will stop. Let's wait for that. Okay, so everything is down now. Now if I type exit, I'm going to exit the current user. So I'm still in the container, and if I type exit now, then the container is stopped. Next, let's do P, uh, docker ps-a. And now we can see that we have this one container right here, and the status is exited. Now, if I want to restart that one container, let me go back to, oops, we don't need that one. Let me go back here to the screen. What we want to do is we want to start a container, which is this one right here. So I copy this right here. And very important is that we have the dash i. This is very important. And we're going to use the container name right here, docker start dash i, and then the container name. And with this, container has started, but the SAP system did not start. And this time it's very important we now use this one here. This is for starting the UUID daemon. And then we change the user, which is NPLADM. NPL is the system that we're going to connect to in a few minutes. I hit return and now start SAP. And now the SAP system is going to start. While the SAP system is going to start, let me open maybe Kitematic. This is something you can install together with Docker. And here I can see the containers that I have. This is my container that is currently being started. And in here I can go also, I can go to the settings. I see the container name. I see, for example, some environment variables right here inside the container. I can check the, the ports that I have right here and the host name and the volumes, network, and whatever. This is Docker stuff now. But for now, I don't need this. I could also uh, start a new terminal session right here. And for example, here I could check 
what's going on. And if I don't need this, I just close that and the container is still running. Um, now I'm going to shut down Kitematic right here. And here we go, instance on host started. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we can now connect to our SAP system. Let's give it a try. So I, I type in sub GUI. I'm not using this one because this is a new one. I uh, use the one that comes with the trial um, installation that we have just installed. So I'm opening that one. And in here, I actually have already, because I've done this already, I have this one right here. What you need to do is you need to, here in the sub GUI, you need to create an entry and then go directly to directly to advanced. So in here there is nothing. And then just jump to advanced, check this expert mode and type in this right here. So the connection string right here that you can see is right here and, and this is the port that we need. Now this is here, I'm double clicking and as you can see I can get in there. Very important, the very first thing you need to do is go to client zero and then user SAP star and log in with appliance, hit return. And now you go to the transaction S license. And in here you can see your active hardware key. And this is the one you have to take. And if you have a look right here, this is everything described right here. So you have to take this and go to this page and get a real license and, and your own license. Just search for NPL Sybase ASE. So select that one right here. And then you're going to fill in a few things, which is first name, last name, email address, and then the hardware key that you can get from right here. You copy this, you paste it in here, and you check I agree, I agree again, and then you say generate. When you do this, then a certain file will be downloaded. In my case, it's npl-4.txt. And now you can close this one and go back here. And before you continue, you select the one item that was already available. Make a right click and say, where is delete? Delete license right here. And say, yep, that's it. And now you're going to, um, uh, you're going to install a new license. And all you do is going to your download folder, where is it, to your download folder. In my case, I choose the one I just downloaded, select it, say OK. And here we go. I have a real license now, a demo system. Uh, demo system is under installation number, and that's it. Now I can leave here, and this is just fine. Next, I log on, for example, under client 001, that's a normal one with the user called developer, same password again, appliance. Say OK. And now I go maybe to my SCAT. And probably I go to my local objects right now. Hit return. And in here, let's create maybe a program. Uh, let's give it set Nabi demo. Say return, and then, yep, we just leave it as it is. Local object. That's it. Here's the demo, and then we say, right, well, what could we say? Hello, world. That's it. We save it. Oops. We're going to save it right here. We could also activate it. This is all the usual stuff. We do pretty prettier. If you want, you can configure also. This is what, well, I can do this later. And then, um, yeah, and then of course, you could also uh, go ahead and, uh, and uh, well, just run it and here we go, hello world. Now this is step one. Now let's do maybe the same thing here in, in ABAP, uh, in, in Eclipse. So I open Eclipse, just to show you, we can do the same thing now in Eclipse as well. 
takes a few seconds to show up. Now I need to create here in Eclipse. Let me go and say, well, actually, here's upper project. That's all. That's exactly what I want. And I'm going to choose the one that has the port 3200. NPL, system name, everything else can stay as it is. Next, developer password, appliance, as you know. Next, now it's going to load everything. Let me see. Well, this is all we want to have. Let's just say finish. And here we go. That's ABAP. Let me go to my favorite packages right here. And we should actually see here under programs. This is exactly the report I created in the SE80. Here we go. Let me copy that. Oh, yeah, it's locked. Sorry. So <laughs> I got to go back here, take it away. OK. Now I'm going to do it. Now it works. Hello word. Again, I save. Uh, and here is the activation right here. And uh, well, and if you want to run it, just, oops. Uh, sorry, where was that? Was that here? Uh, no, right here, sorry. Uh, it's an ABAP application. Just say go. Here it goes. That's it. Hello world again. Well, that was a stupid one. I forgot the, the new line. So this is it. And there is one more thing I'd like to show you. Let's go to SICF. And let's activate the good old ping service. SAP public somewhere ping. Here it is. Right click, activate service. Yes, just do it. And now you open your browser and then you go to SAP, where is it, to the ping service. I'm going to localhost HTTPS, which is the port is 44300. I say advanced and then I say proceed. And here it is, server reached. You could do the same thing also for HTTP. Then the port would be 8000. Hit return. And here it is, server reach. So this is it for now. So we have now successfully installed um, an, uh, NetWeaver 7, a NetWeaver ABAP 7.51 SP2 trial edition into Docker running here, in my case, on, on a macOS High Sierra. And uh, in the next tutorials, I'm going to show you what you can do with that. For example, we're going to connect this system here to our cloud account to our SAP Cloud Platform trial account. Thanks for watching. See you soon.